welcome back to cranking out crafts my name's jay flo and we have an exciting new product for you today and it is called super resin uv crystal this is special exclusively at our ben franklin stores in hawaii and it's from japan and the unique thing the great thing about this uv resin is how clear it is and it's a one-step process because we're using a UV light. So to get started, we are going to be using a pendant like this that has a small little lip around it. And then this will be our final project. And it's got a really nice picture in there, a little photograph with some glitter. And then we put a little charm in there as well. And it's a layering effect. So to get started, I've already measured the inside of my oval and cut out a little um, stencil for me. I've traced it already, so now I'm going to cut out this lovely couple's picture, Mark and Bora, from their wedding, <laughs> and cut around. You could also use someone's photo. I mean, this little charm here could be used um, maybe, maybe somebody can't, you know, be at your wedding and you can have this little charm hanging from your bouquet, um, or you could wear it, or I don't know, you could use this for lots of different things. Give it for Mother's Day even. Okay, I'm just going to trim off a little bit at the bottom because it's still just a tad too big. We don't want it hanging over the edge at all. Okay. So now that it fits in there, I'm going to take the UV resin and put a thin layer. And carefully, I want to go all around the edges too. Now the other item that you're going to need is a toothpick. And I'm going to take my toothpick and spread around to make sure we cover the entire photo and to seal it around the edges. As I do this, I don't want to make any of my motions really too quick. because I don't want to cause a lot of bubbles in here because we're going to have to pop those later. Um, and as far as the bubbles go, you do not want any, let me repeat that. You do not want any, any, any bubbles in this piece before you stick it in the UV light because they will remain. <laughs> There's no way to get those out after you've already cured it with the UV light. Okay, I'm gonna look at it at a few different angles to make sure I don't have any bubbles. And if I have any bubbles, one way I can tap the table and that will make the bubbles kind of come to the surface or you could just take your toothpick and gently pop them very quickly in the center. Okay, so that looks good. Next, I'm just gonna put it on, this is just a little sheet of cardstock that I'm going to set my nice pendant on. It's really nice. Okay, now I'm gonna stick it in my UV light, turn it on, and you'll wanna put something over the um, the light part because you don't want to look directly at it. Now, also setting me up my watch for three minutes, so we'll be right back. All right, so now our three minutes is up, and I'm going to turn this off and pull this out, and we have, and it's not really hot either, and it's dry. Three minutes did the trick. Now I'm going to do a second layer. So next. I think I'm going to put some of this glitter. This is really pretty <laughs> glitter. And I'm just gonna put a little on my finger and kind of flake it around. This just adds, I don't know, kind of a hazy, I like the layering of it. Just antiquing effect. And then I'm going to take, this is a little sticky tool that we have and it's great because it picks things up just like that 
and this is a little trinket I'm going to set down see how good that is it just sticks and sticks <laughs> thank you I'm going to gently push this down gently <laughs> there we go and then we want to turn that little heart around I'm just gonna grab another toothpick so we can maneuver him and not hurt anybody's face we don't want to whoops this is probably the toughest part of the whole process oh there we go a little heart for the cute couple and I'm just gonna take a clean finger I don't want a lot of that glitter on her face okay so next we're gonna resin again take the resin gently pour over the surface and then I'll take my toothpick to pour around, to push it around. And ensuring that there's no bubbles, hopefully. So I push this. Okay. All the way around over his little head. Okay, make sure I've got it over here. I'm going to look at it on the sides. Looks like I need to push it there just a tad. And good. Final step, put it on my little um, cardstock tray. This is just easy for me to get in and out. Put it in three minutes and we'll wait. All right, now that our three minutes is up for the final time on this pendant, I'll pull it out. And again, it's not really hot to the touch, but look at that sweet, sweet picture of our dear friends. And this again is a great little gift um, locks everything in. It's hard. It's kind of glass-like on the top and we've got some cute little accessories in there. Then you could again maybe wear it as a brooch or a necklace or you could tie it on as a charm to a bouquet or anything that you want. So we hope you've enjoyed this resin craft and come in and see us.